Okay, so there are several ways to utilize Copilot. First, we'll start by looking at Copilot within Search. First, you're going to head on over to bing.com where you can begin an internet search. You can do this in any browser. Once you're here, you'll see the link to Copilot at the top or in your search query, you can click on Copilot off to the right to begin conducting your search with Copilot. Or we can simply click on Copilot and jump to that interface. All right, so we're now in Copilot in the browser. First thing you'll see is you get to choose a type of conversation. Do you want it to be creative, balanced, or precise? I'm gonna leave it on creative. Up above that, you're gonna see some suggested ways to utilize Copilot. And so you can try these out. I'm gonna go ahead and try this out. What's a good joke to start a math class? So we'll click on this and see what it comes up with. All right, so you can see it's coming up with several little jokes and we can use these ideas or we can continue to have an interaction because this is essentially a chat bot. So we have some suggested questions we could ask, like, do you have any more jokes? What's the most famous equation in mathematics? Or you can ask your own questions. Now, if you wanna start a new session, we're gonna go ahead and click on this button to start a new topic. In this case, I'm gonna ask it to create some writing for me. Create a list of talking points for a presentation on learning modalities. I'll go ahead and click send, submit. And look at that. Copilot begins drafting up some talking points for me. I can take this and I can make it my own and use what I would like in the presentation that I am designing. Notice here that it also gives you references on where the information came from. Right here, I can click copy to copy this and paste it into another document. I also have an export option. Now, notice here at the top, this says your personal and company data are protected in this chat. So this means that when you're using Copilot, the data is private, it will not be shared with third parties. This is important. So if you're using the Edge browser, we recommend that you sign into the browser as shown over here at the top left. You can see that I'm signed in with my work account. If you're not signed in with a work account and you're using a personal Microsoft account, your data will not be protected. Another way to use Copilot is to have it generate images for you. For example, Create an image of a happy student using a laptop in a classroom. The style should be similar to anime. Submit. Let's see what we get. All right, the image is being generated. And look at that. We have four options to choose from. And we could further refine this. You can see suggestions down here. Can you add a teacher in the image? I want to see more drawings. If you'd like to use the image, you can go ahead and click on the one you like. And here you'll have the ability to right click and save the image. Now, what's another way to access Copilot? You can also access it in the Edge browser. So no matter what site you're on, you can open up the Copilot and begin interacting. Let's say, for example, that I've started a new Microsoft Word document and I want to leverage Copilot to help me with my writing. I can go over here to the top right of Microsoft Edge and you'll see the Copilot icon here. We can click on that to open up the pane. And just like with using Bing.com search, you'll see that available right here where we can begin having that conversation and ask for information. Also at the top, you'll see Compose. This is specifically generative AI. So with Compose, we can use this to help generate text, whether it's a list or a paragraph 
or an email you're sending. So here, I'm gonna go ahead and ask it. Write a recommendation letter for a colleague who is applying for an IT management position. We can set the tones. We can make this professional, casual, enthusiastic. The format we can set here, and we can decide the length. I'm gonna keep this short for now and generate draft. And there it goes, generating a draft for me of a recommendation letter. Now here's the cool thing. We have a copy button here, but we can also come down here and click add to site. So I can put my cursor on my Word document and click add to site. All right, and there it is. I can now modify this and make it my own. Well, all right, so those are some ways you can utilize Microsoft Copilot. Soon, Copilot will be embedded throughout all of the Microsoft 365 apps, including Teams, Microsoft Word, PowerPoint, etc.